I wish it were summer in real life. But yes, hey there guys. This is my hello and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Black. So, I trained... Uh, wait, did it? Yeah, I, did, I trained my Pokemon up to level 17. So, I trained outside to like, at Route 3, I think. Yeah, Route 3. I also brought Musharna and Patrat out of my PC. No, they're not official party members, which, which is why they're not in the top right corner. I'm just using them because... I'm just bringing them along because I feel like they could be useful. So let's go into the museum here, which is also the gym. So it's really interesting how the Pokemon gym is right behind the museum. It's kind of like how the first Pokemon gym in Black 2 and White 2 is like behind the school. Spoilers, by the way. Wow, whenever I look at this skeleton, I'm, I'm fascinated. Hello, dude. You look pretty generic. Welcome. I'm Haas, the assistant director. Since you were kind of the visit, I'll give you a tour of the museum. No, you don't need to. I'm, I'm sure you don't need to. Fine, if you must. The skeleton of a dragon is of a dragon type Pokemon. There's a theory that it had an accident while I was flying around. Oh my god, that's terrible. <laughs> well, that's a nice way to say it died <laughs> without using the D word. I'm more interested. I'm more interested in the our Arma model, not the meteorite. M energy from space. That kind of reminds me of something. Oh yeah. Then why is it here? It's like some grayish white circular stone. Boring. <laughs> but this is a museum that kind of focuses on fossils, not art. Jeez, hoss. The Pokemon gym is right be just beyond here. At the end of the gym, a very strong and kind gym leader is waiting. By the way, the gym leader Lenora just happens to be my wife. Oh, no wonder you're calling her nice and, you know, fair and stuff like that. Well, that's pretty cool, huh? Like, you know, you both work in the same field. So, I guess the gym leader studies fossils, runs the museum, and is also the gym leader. Found in the desert. That's nice. Perhaps there was a Pokemon that came from space along with this meteorite. right? Hmm, I wonder. Maybe there is. Maybe there isn't. Maybe the Pokemon is event only. Space virus. Ew, <clears throat> it's only the best kind of virus. Space virus. Hello, Armaldo. You protected quite well. Hello, Dragonite. You died. And they didn't bury you. They just put your carcass up in the museum. Certain kind of Pokemon that uses bones as weapons. Hmm. Maybe a Pokemon and his mother. Rare Pokemon from around the world. Museums are packed with adventure. Sure. You know what is kind of oblivious to like most of the Pokemon around the world? Most of the ancient people like in Majora's Mask and Ter Termina. This is what is used to ban the Majora's Mask away. Well, that's pretty unimportant. Whatever. Let's just go into the museum now since that's the fun part. Hello, second gym. Hello. Clyde, a Pokemon gym where the leader lays waits for the tree towns at the back of the museum. It has a great atmosphere, doesn't it? Sort of. Whoa, what did my voice crack? It was like, sort of? Well, thanks to the fresh water, man. All trainers in this gym use normal type Pokemon. Yay! Normal type Pokemon. Normal types are pretty cool, actually. They're pretty versatile. Now, there are fighting Pokemon you can get outside in, you know, Pinwheel Forest to the left. But I have a Pig Knight, so Toru is capable. So, nice to meet you, Pokemon. That's the Pokemon we should look for, huh? Sure, thanks. So, behind the museum is a gym that's actually a library as well. So, that's pretty interesting. Interesting concept. I hang around that green gym all the time. People call me a bookworm. Nerd! I warn you now, I'm strong because I spend the entire day either reading books or training Pokemon. How about some exercise? How about some basketball? Or baseball? Or the sun? Have some vitamin D, kid. You have the rest of your childhood to let you know enjoy, you know? Enjoy your childhood and stop training your Patra to level 17. Considering how Patra's just whatever. Oh, uh This could be dangerous. I don't think Jam Jars is gonna be able to, to take this out in two metal claws. Let's see here. Yeah, maybe I'll just switch out. Okay, definitely need, need to switch out. Uh this is kind of why I brought Patrat here, because it's serving as a meat shield. Yep, this Patrat I caught in Route 1 is going to be my meat shield. So have some face. Have some face? Have some death in your face, you mean. So let's just bring back jam jars. <laughs> I'm so cruel to Patrat, but hey, I don't like Patrat. I don't like it, so... It, uh, this is why I don't like Patrats. I don't like using them, and I don't like fighting them, because... Even though like, this generation is Radita slash Zigzagoon slash Centred, they're pretty annoying because they have moves that serve only to annoy. 
I guess like the only other annoying ones like Bidoof and like his evolution. They're pretty annoying and they their design just pisses me off. But whatever, let's oh, come on. And it has crunch already. And lower my and it lower my defense, of course. Why not? This is rapid so we didn't get rid of it. It has better accuracy but not enough good not enough power. And I'm almost dying. What well, isn't that just great? You know what? Screw it. Let's just risk it. Freaking detect, freaking bite, freaking crunch. That's it, I'm just going to be safer and. Let's just use a super potion. They're the same thing at this point. They both heal for 50 HP, so. yeah. How much will crunch do now that my defense has been lowered? Wow, that's. yeah. Well, thankfully, Rabbit's been hit there. Otherwise, I would have lost to a Patrat, and that would have been very demoralizing. Like, very. But instead, we get a level up and, and a nice attack boost. I'm not a bookworm, but I'm not a bug. I'm a bookworm, but I'm a, not a bugworm. It's like saying, you know, I got soul, but I'm not a soldier. Or I've got ham, but I'm not a hamster. I'm being stupid. Whatever, let's just find that nice to meet you Pokemon book. Um, no, this is not what I'm looking for. So he said it should be in this children's books corner. Oh, here it is. It's a fairy tale about a little boy who met a Pokemon for the first time in his life. Oh, that's so cute. He's just a small brown Pokemon. What if it's a story of Nino Kuni? <laughs> Pokemon trainers. Why are there two men? Four members in the library. Each of them has a question. Hmm, so this is a little chase, a scavenger hunt for questions in the library. Okay, thanks for the hint. Let's see here. Oh, Patrat. That's what they're looking for. The biology of a Patrat. And they have stuff with tails. That's uninteresting. Yeah, that was pretty easy. So here's the second question. Flame burns inside of its body, and it gives us smoke from its head while it runs. What is this book? Oh, so I guess somebody is reading it, which means a trainer battle a bit. You found a second memo, and you're looking for a book? What does the memo say? Flame burns, yeah, 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 yeah. Stop reading it. Well, it's not, but why did I press yes? I didn't mean to. I was just freaking trigger happy. But yeah, it turns out that it's not Tepic. It's actually <laughs> this one, so they trick you here. So this is the more tricky book. Ah, but it could be a locomotive, yes. Considering how flame burns inside of its body, like a real train. Or at least old-fashioned trains. Oh, of course, we need a Pokemon battle for the power of research, of course. In other words, you just want to kick my ass. You don't want to give away the book because you're a scientist, Satomi. Book hog, bookworm. All right, so let's just send out Toru. Okay, so it doesn't have Intimidate. It, uh, it has Sand Rush, so... Oh, but she's using x Defend. Like the same effect of... It's like the same effect of Intimidate, I guess, since Arm Thrust is going to be less damage to it. That's good. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, Toru. Let's do Flame Charge. Why not? Maybe the increased speed will help me out. Considering how Herdier is faster than Pignite, I mean, it's a... Toru's a... Oh, so close! I'm the charcoal coat, but not enough. Whatever, arm thrust. Now that we're fast enough, flame charge can be flame charge can be useful in that respect. Hit one time. <laughs> oh, grammar. Trying to like you know capture all new poles and stuff. What else? A lot of, ex a lot of experience. Wow. My head is empty compared to yours. Yeah. So get out of the library. It ain't helping a bit. I mean, come on. Let's be pro let's be polite. So let's read a book about trains. Which are which is early, actually. <laughs> so here's a memo, right? It says, it's impressive that you found this place. That's what I'd expect from a challenger like you. Well, this is the thir third question. If you heat it up in the pot, it'll be delicious. So it's related to food, and so it's in the front row. But the left one is about nice to meet you, Pokemon. So sweets for Pokemon. Sure, why not? Heating. Oh, this should be it. Poffins, made in. Oh, nice that's reference to the fourth generation. Sinnoh. I never bothered with, with making puffins, so I don't care. From the bookshelf, move two forward, backwards, and move one to the left. Move two forward. Okay, now that we've made a huge circle. So basically, just go to the one with the girl, huh? Basically, the, we, the, the, memo, just, the memo just directed us in a huge circle and then said, go forward or backwards, as they say. Let's heal Jandros because I plan to be using it in the, the next battle because. Like I said, I kind of determine the order of Pokemon judging by how much experience points it needs. They need. 
Yes, duh. <laughs> but thanks for the battle, girl. So she knows that she's the last trainer. What an egotistical girl. Lydia. Lydia! <laughs> I mean, there's like this song I know called Rydia. Is it Rydia? I mean, I know that Rydia is the name of a Final Fantasy IV character, but there's also a song called Rydia. It's so 80s. Can Bony take this lollipop with Bony, you're supposed to take it down in one hit. Whatever. Let's just use Tackle. So, Takedown isn't the best move in the world because of the recoil and, you know... I mean, I, I like to use it when I'm reassured, I'm sure of the one at KO. Oh boy, do you have like three Lillipops or something? Yeah, Jam Jars requires the most amount of experience. And I don't plan to use Jam Jars for the following gym battle, so... Why don't I just, just give Jam Jars the most amount of opportunities to have experience. Mudslap is... So the thing about Mudslap is, first of all, it's a special attack, so... Jam Jars is strong in this... Um, physical attack. Second of all, it has 20 base power, so... Mudslap sucks. Even though it has a benefit of stab, it sucks. So that's why I'm using Metal Claw all the time. Which is nice, but it's not stab and... It doesn't have the best accuracy in the world. 95%, I mean... You know what 95% means. 50%. That's right. And how about 30%? 10%? Unless the opponent is using it, then it's 70%. Yeah, that's right. Everything related to probability is screw, you know, skewed against you because Pokemon. Can you please be finished with this battle now? Like Lily Pups of the Wazoo, man. Lily Pups of the Wazoo. Jeez, so many dogs. What if you? What if you just send all of your Pokemon to the dog pound, huh? Wouldn't you be so devastated, Lydia? Yeah, that'd be like scarring to your childhood. Like, oh my God, this mean old man just took my Pokemon away and just sent them to the dog pound for them to be killed. It's so sad how dogs can be like put down. Why am I talking about this? So yeah, this is the final book, which is about Tepix. Yay! Well done. You seem to have wisdom as well as strength. Awesome. How about courage? Ooh, wait, there's a switch under a book. Wow, that's... I mean, I know that Batman can uh, use a switch in a piano to move a bookshelf, but this gym leader can use a switch inside of a book to move a shelf. That's respect. But I'm gonna go heal, so excuse me. Okay, so I am back in black. So I decided to put Musharna up in front. Yep, I'm gonna be starting the gym battle with Musharna. And I also gave Toru a Chuzzleberry and Boney an Orenberry. The Chuzzleberry should be able to wake um, Toru up when it's sleeping. Ooh, the bones. Let's be distracted with the bone she has on display because it's on display, man. She wants it to be seen. Alright, fine. Let's. Wait a minute. Oh my gosh, she's black. Awesome! The dragon of the neck green museum in the neck. I can't. I'm like I can't voice act for her. I'm gonna research how you battle with the Pokemon you so loving raised. I thought about being all like racist like Lucajin was, but first of all, I can't voice act. Second of all, it's not in my spirit to be racist. But here's Lenora. I think it's really cool how she's married to Hawes, you know? I like appreciate that one that, you know. I like I like appreciate the love between different races. I mean, unite the world, you know? So she, she starts off with a herd deer with Intimidate, and it's gonna freaking hurt. Ooh, nice, Mishana. You survived. And thankfully, your side beam is unaffected by Intimidate. Now, with a move, I'm starting to see what kind of trainer you are. One that kind of uses Pokemon as body bags to be thrown out into death. So there's a reason why I use Mishana up in front. By the way, notice how the song is like... Corridor! The song is in Spanish! Yeah! But yeah, I sent out Mushana up in front because I wanted Boney to not have his attack lowered by the Herdier's Intimidate. Not to mention this Hermit, the Herdier's like weakened, so Boney was able to take it down in one hit. Awesome. That was rather rather painless. Sorry Mushana, but I don't really plan on using you at all and I don't care about you. Ooh, Watch Hog. Evolution form of Patrat. So let's use Patrat against it. Yes. Maybe if you send its... What is it? Its son out against his mother, then maybe it'll have second... Thoughts. No matter how grim this situation, I use my research skills to find a winning strategy. It's kind of funny how she has, she has an apron, considering how this is before. Okay, never mind. Basically, this is before her design was changed so that she was. She doesn't wear her apron, but yeah. So I set up Patrick in front because it's retaliate. It's retaliate attack. 
The strength of it doubles if it's used the turn after its teammate dies. So basically, Patra took the hit that was meant for Toru. And now I should increase my speed, so I can use Armor Thrust right now. Yes, good. So yeah, that's my strategy. Use Flame Charge to increase my speed and proceed with Arm Thrust. But at the upper hand, I'm faster, and I have the Chesterberry, which should wake him up. Alright, good. Now hopefully Watchhog did not put me to sleep, because Watchhog is very annoying with his hypnosis. That's why there's a ton of awakenings around, and that's why Sharan gives you Chesterberries, for this very purpose. But it also helps that I have Arm Thrust. Alright, just one more, and it's down. Thank god I'm going first. But that was rather, that was rather painless. True didn't take any damage from this Watchhog. Nice. See, this gym, this gym battle isn't bad if you use strategy. It's not bad at all. Good job, Toru. Good job, Boney. And thanks a lot, Musharna and Patrat. Yeah, whatever. My theory about you was correct. You're more than just talented. You're motivated. I salute you. And you know how do you disband the scapegoats. Your fighting style is so enchanting. It is charming. You are a Pokemon trainer worthy of receiving this basic badge. Awesome. Look at that diamond stick. Spinning around like a diamond stick. Yeah. And you get a second badge. How nice. If you have the two badges, trade a Pokemon up to level 30 but obey you. You know, I just want to have this to the end. Why do I why is she suddenly sounding Italian? Maybe she can be Italian, you know? Retaliate does a lot more damage. Even Natal I'll finish the turn before you use it. You see that's the power of retaliate. If you master the time you can defeat even strong opponents. Dear um, what's up with you? Hey, some music. Dear, come quickly. <laughs> Team Plaza was starting to steal some bones. Oh, they got a bone. Oh, they got a bone to pick with us. Well, this is pretty different. It's like so urgent, like so weird after the gym battle. I mean, you know, this game is pretty unique, and I like that. But what's going on with Team Plasma and bones in the museum? Is there something very important? Something to worry about? Can we stop them? We shall see in the next video. Until then. See ya, thanks for watching, bye.